Hey guys, Jared from Control Pair Munitions with another box opening. Uh, after the other day with the Black Scout survival stuff, I did go check the mailbox. If you did not check the, uh, the description of the last video, uh, I did find out that I got the rest of the stuff that was just in the mailbox that I found after I made the video. So uh, I did open it up already, so I, I do know what's in there, and uh, I did get the rest of the stuff, which is really cool. Um, I did get to play with a little bit of the stuff, but uh, we're gonna kind of start from scratch on this one. Uh, it is all the stuff from Black Scout Survival, um, the, the similar from the stuff I got from the other day. Um, again, really good company, veteran-owned company. If you have not watched any of their videos, please go over there and give those guys a like, subscribe. Uh, watch some of their content very informative stuff uh, really love their content that they do over there <clears throat> so real quick um, it, it did come in a, a different size box which is fine uh, it didn't have the cute little wax paper stuff that the other stuff did uh, <laughs> I was kind of looking forward to that to be honest with you so uh, one of the things it did come with and I didn't really point this out last time I'll point this out this time so it, they all came with a little uh, little card, and uh, on the back it says Mindset, Lifestyle, and Preparedness. Our mission is to equip and educate you to be a more prepared citizen and enhance your capabilities. Thank you for your support. So again, the little things for me, and, and you can see the little, little card, make sure it's straight there. It's this little things, you know? Um, I don't know how straight this is. But, you know, it's, it's really cool. You know, small business, veteran owned. Again, please go like and uh, support those guys. Um, I spent a decent amount of money on their, uh, their site uh, not that long ago. Um, but uh, it, for me, it's all worth it. And I'm going to go over a lot of that stuff in here with you. So one of the first things, it's sticking out of the box. So uh, I'm going to show you guys right now. This is a bump hammer. So what this is used is with bump keys. Um, he also has videos on there too, which I'm going to put somewhere... I, I, again, I don't know where the camera's gonna put the little thingy, but I think it's here. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to put the uh, the links for these videos on there so you can at least follow those, watch those, and be like, oh, that's how you do it. Because uh, I have watched his videos several times on, because uh, I don't get to pick locks all the time. Uh, I do have lock picks, and I've done it, and I've been successful. But sometimes it takes me a little longer than usual, uh, uh, sadly to say, because I don't get enough practice. So I'm hoping with a lot of the stuff I got, it's gonna help me with that. So bump hammer, uh, I have never bumped before, but watching his videos and uh, some other videos online, I was definitely interested, and you never know when you might need it. Um, so, it, I mean, it does make a little noise when you were to do this on a lock, but uh, at the same time, it, I have seen it to where it's really quick compared to the traditional style lock picks, but it also comes with practice. So I don't wanna say that um, this will definitely take over that. So the bump hammer, again, comes with, or doesn't come with, but I bought the set of bump keys. So, came in its own little bag. Bump keys! And this is the bump hammer. So nothing really, you know, fancy. I didn't know really what to expect. Again, not playing with a bump hammer before, um, before playing with the, uh, the Black Scout Survival stuff. So, um, it is, it, it's very uh, pliable, which, to, it makes sense to get it past that sear spot uh, while you're hitting that um, that key, and uh, it, you don't want it to be super hard like a normal hammer. That doesn't make sense. And what a bump key is is it's just a key with a whole bunch of little cuts in it, like your normal key. And I, I went for the five one. I, I splurged a little bit. If I remember right, there is a uh, three key and a five key. So. You'll notice that these keys look a lot like the keys you probably have on your key ring. Okay, and you can see that they're all kind of like the same style cuts. And what what you do is, you know, you put it in, you hit it with a hammer, and what it helps to do is it gets it in the little sear spot. So, I don't want to give it too far away. Again, I need practice at this, and I am definitely not an expert. I would prefer if you go watch his pages and learn how to do this because that's what I'm going to be doing. Because <laughs> uh, again, I'm a novice at this and my first time having bump keys. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Um, with that being said, if you guys did not know, 
He has a whole bunch of training material on there. So I didn't buy the literature because again, thankfully he has videos. And uh, in today's age, we have YouTube. Uh, if the web were to go down, I probably should invest in the book, um, but I'm lazy. Uh, there was a couple other things on their website as well, so I may, may say I'll buy that. So um, they do have little trainers. I bought every one of their trainers, okay? So here's one trainer, I'm gonna take it out of the bag. I do not remember which each one's called. I just know I bought every one of them. So this one says Sparrows. Oh, that says Sparrows too, I think it's just the key company. So, you can kind of see, hopefully you can kind of see that. On the inside of there, you have your tumblers and you have your little sear spot where it gets stuck. I don't know if you guys can see the little tumbler go up and down when I put the key in. So this is like a normal key. And if I go slow, maybe you'll... You see it move. Yeah, you can see it move a little bit on the camera. It's hard to see because when I'm recording this, it's in the little picture. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm getting this whole thing uh, good or not. So um, right here, see where the tumblers are and that's why I can't get the key out because now it's locked in there um, but that's that's the point of this is, is to learn where to put these guys to get that breaking point and I definitely need a lot of practice um, and, and that goes for anything you know shooting whatever else it's it's a muscle memory thing it, it's it's a perishable skill so uh, I never know what kind of lock I'm gonna be facing so again why I bought every type so, um, I got three different trainers. One, two, three of uh, the two, three different types of uh, uh, tumblers. I also got this guy. So, can't remember again what this one was called, uh, but it had its own little section again where I could put the key in and turn it. You can see the guy turns in the back. Um, and then learning how to pick this guy. It's kind of like a, like a little door, uh, like a deadbolt on like a business lock or something like that. So there's that guy. And then the other trainer I got, because some locks need a little bit extra precision. Ooh, it's got little tools in there. I have to put, play with those. I got the um, little uh, uh, combination lock. So, I'm not sure what the combo is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be zero, 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 zero. Yay, hey, it's zero, 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 zero. So, <laughs> uh, but if I didn't know that, um, I want to say it comes with little picks that go through a little hole and they probably either reheat or whatever. I'm going to have to read the instructions. But this is also going to um, train me on how to tell when I got the right combo. So that's another good skill to have, especially if you're trying to get somewhere and you're trying to be discreet about it. I also bought a, uh, oh, that bent. Yay. A lockpick gun. I've always wanted one of these. You know how long I've wanted one of these? These things are awesome. So it is a pick gun. It's the one from his site. Uh, he does have a couple videos on this as well. Again, I'm gonna put that somewhere here. Um, and he has a little tension rod so you can maximize or minimize it. This is another thing I have not done yet. So I put it together to play with it the other day and that's why I was like, man, I need a lot of practice. <laughs> so this is definitely a thing that I'm going to need to practice with for sure. It does come with a, a, a couple, uh, uh, I'm going to call them teeth right now because I don't remember the technical term. Um, let's just say that I've had a really long day and uh, I am highly caffeinated but very tired. It's really weird how that happens. So brain, no comprende, no worky, no good. So it does come with a tension rod or get a little tension bar. So put that in and you twist it and then with your little lock like then, which this is pretty cool. So it does come with uh, three of those. It has an angled one and two straight ones, which I have the other straight one somewhere in here because I just dumped the box out. So 
really cool again really excited about that one of the most things i'm excited about on this box is this guy so this is just a discreet little lock pick tool kind of goes inside your pocket you can carry this everywhere so another part of your edc some of us guys we carry a lot of stuff in our pocket already so it comes with several different lock picks all in this little guy and it has a little tension bar or torsion bar again i'm probably murdering the the technical terms for these um but yeah so some of my favorite ones is mostly like this guy right here in one of my sets uh, which is very similar to that guy and this guy if you need to push one rod at a time That's when you use them and these other ones. I've never used a round one before. I'll be honest with you uh, So I'm kind of curious for that one and how that will work and uh, when I would be able to use it But I'm really excited about this because it's it almost doesn't weigh anything um, It's a couple ounces and, and it, it's just gonna disappear in my pocket and I could take this everywhere uh, currently I have a lockpick set in my pocket so I'll show you what that is and I'll show you the difference. So long, long, long time ago, I bought this one, stuff in the pocket, which, so again, this is kind of cool. It has a little belt clip thing too. I can put it on my belt or somewhere in my pocket and I don't have to like dig in my pockets for it. So I like that. This is the one I have already. Um, it is like a little pen that guy and it, there's your little tension rod thing so it that's your your clip that you can leave in your pocket it is spring loaded but you only get one and in, in all seriousness sometimes this guy fights me a lot more than some of the ones that are on this one um, so I'm really excited about this guy and so here just doing a quick comparison loosen that guy up throw those guys back out and I would like to say the one, the blue one, this one, cost me a lot more than this one did. And it's not saying that it's cheap, it's just saying that I think it's a good value. So, you can see there, I just have that type of pick. And again, there's there's technical terms for this, and the people that do this all the time are like, oh, it's a this, a this, a this, and like, cool. Um, <laughs> I am not a master or an expert in this. I am learning, and that's why I want this stuff is to learn. Um, but it is very similar to this guy right here. So it does come with that one as well, along with many other friends. It is half the weight, <laughs> and I want to say it was it was less expensive. It does come in a couple different colors. Uh, I chose gray because I do like the color gray, and it kind of blends in with a lot of stuff that I have, and I could also find it. So. A lot of the items I choose not to get is in black, like uh, speed loaders and stuff for my guns, because I end up losing them. I have a couple speed loaders, for example. The only one I could ever find is the lemon colored one. Go figure. So this was the other part of that order. Um, again, I haven't really played with a lot of it. I, I did play with the pick gun, I'll be honest with you. I, I, um, but that's another thing I, again, like I said earlier, I need to practice. So. With all these guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put the little card things or whatever. Uh, also, links down below uh, for all his videos that uh, um, have his lock picking stuff in it. Uh, they, he has one that he does with uh, uh, paper clips, for example. Uh, now you see that in movies a lot different than the way he does it um, because movies are movies. Okay, Hollywood completely fake. Um, if you've done anything practical in your life, you understand this. So. Uh, his way, I have not tried yet. I'm very, very intrigued and I don't want to uh, because it looked really simple. Even to the fact to where I could put it in my wallet or something like that uh, and carry it every day. And uh, probably be more effective than this guy that I carry every day. <laughs> so uh, I already carry this guy every day. I'm looking forward to carrying the little gray one. Um, and again, that's going to save a little bit more weight in my pocket since I don't know if you saw, I was already tearing a bunch of stuff out of my pocket. I carry a lot of things every day. So saving a little weight uh, goes a long way. Ounces equals pounds, pounds equals pain. Okay, I've already got a lot of pounds and a lot of pain on my knees <laughs> because of this. So uh, 
please like and subscribe. Again, check him out. Uh, a lot more descriptive and, and descriptive, descriptive and in more detail than I could ever give you. Uh, he does do this uh, for a living and um, very, very educated guy. Uh, please check him out and see him. Uh, thanks again, guys, for watching, and I uh, hope you have a good day.